Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. I hope you all had an amazing Halloween. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's become a bit of a tradition for me and my girls, one's 11, one's 6, to do pumpkin carving on Halloween now. And uh, I'm going to show off a little bit now and show you the fruits of our labour. This is what we did. The girls did most of them. Um, the only one I did was the Minion one, but I think the Minion one is the best one. Um, no, just joking. I think the Minion one is great, but I'm going to give myself a little pat on the back for that. I really enjoyed doing it. It's, it's a good thing to do. Then we went trick-or-treating, so we've got enough sweets to last the girls for months. Um, right, we've still got some Halloween stock available. If you do what we always do after the season has ended, we uh, reduce the price to try and get rid of it and um, put it into the clearance section. So if you do want to make a bit of a saving for Halloween next year, head over to the clearance section and uh, we've only got a little bit left. So head over there and see what's available. Now, last week I mentioned Black Friday. Black Friday is that horrible day in November when retail goes crazy. It's the 27th of November this year and it's also when last year the couriers all had a meltdown. Basically, none of the couriers out there could deal with the amount of parcels going through the networks. So, my warning to you, little recommendation, please order either on the 23rd, 24th or 25th of November and get everything you need before that Friday because if you wait till Friday I'd like to say it would be fine to get there on Monday, Tuesday or whenever you need it um, and in fact DPD have sent me an email this week saying Greg um, we've got more drivers they're permanent drivers they're not temps Greg we've got more people working in the depots they're permanent people they're not temps Greg we've got more vans on the road so they're, they're trying to avoid it this year between now and the end of the year it's, it's their peak season um, and they, they say that it's not going to be the issue it was last year so fingers crossed that's going to be the case my recommendation play it safe order earlier if you possibly can right what do you think of this this is an emoji balloon. Um, this is something that teenagers send when they send text messages to say if they're happy or sad or in love or whatever. So this is a new one. I think these are going to be really popular because people are going to have pictures taken like this or whatever. And um, this is the only one, the only design that, that's in the country at the moment. But hopefully there's, going to, there's more in America. Hopefully they'll be coming over here soon. Right. Winter Wonderland. That is the fashionable kind of party this year. In fact, if you just go on the internet, type in Winter Wonderland party ideas or Winter Wonderland party decorations or balloon decorations, something like that. It's amazing what people come up with, what they can do with some balloons and, and other bits and pieces to make a Winter Wonderland party. So I thought I'd just share with you some of the things that you might want to use in a Winter Wonderland party. This is the first one. This is the new Orbs balloon by um, by Amscan and I'm holding it in front of my sweater which is dark so that you can see that these panels are in fact clear. There's two clear panels, two light blue panels. Um, I don't know how good it looks on screen but in reality it's a really impressive balloon. I like the orbs because they're, they're spherical um, so they're, they're really nice. They've got a good bit of lift when they're filled with helium as well. Um, over here we've got some latex, latex obviously by Qualitex, um, there's snowflakes and sparkles around. They've got those in clear, robin's egg blue and wild berry. Now the clear ones come in bags of 50, the other two in bags of 25. I don't know why, but that's what they come in. There's matching clear and the blue ones in three foot balloons as well. And then there's a mixture of clear and blue quick links as well. That's a slightly different design, snowflakes and circles that one's called. And they're exclusive to Balloon Market. Balloon market only. It's the only place you'll find these. Five inch snowflakes and sparkles diamond clear um, balloons. So exclusive to balloon market. The SKU is 36756. You can just type that into the search bar and you will get that. I'm a big fan of the search bar on the website. It's the quickest way to find anything. In fact, the way I find most of these products, I just type snowflake into the search bar and hit enter and it comes up with with most of these. Um, these there's some things here that are new some things aren't but these are new to us so they're in the new section on the website. These are the little four inch star balloons that you can use to adorn various um, balloon decorations. They are they do require a heat sealer so they don't have a self-sealing valve they do require a heat sealer um, but they're great little add-ons and cheap as chips as well so they're available now in those various colors. This confetti sort of snowflakey type confetti, very popular when Frozen was uh, incredibly popular earlier this year, um, but that's very good for scattering on tables and stuff like that. <laughs> 
These, I guess, it could be snowballs. These are the bubbles, the solid color 15 inch bubble balloons from Qualitex. These are self-sealing, um, so they're really easy to use. Um, I'm smiling just because I always think of a, a, a snowball joke that's a little bit rude. So, but anyway, I'm not gonna tell you. Um, Snowballs, they could be. Uh, and then we've got some designs here, some foil balloons. They are sort of, again, snowflakey designs. Got this as well. Cool, cookie cutter. So you can make cookies with, with that. That was great. Very standard sort of snowflakey design. Right, and the other thing we've got are these. Now these really do add sparkle. These are balloon lights. They come in three colors. They come in warm white, white, and magenta. Um, I don't know if it's magenta or fuchsia, but they're, they're pink, basically. And what they are, they're really lightweight strands of lights. So you attach them to a, a helium filled balloon and they, the balloon pulls it up. And it's got a battery pack at the bottom to hold it down. You just cover that up with something. Um, they come out there in three strands or single strands. Now, they don't look too good here in the studio because of the lighting. So we did a shot earlier on um, with these, with the lights out. And as you can see, they, they look pretty impressive. So if you do want to add some, some sparkle to your party, then, then you can use those. If anybody is gonna do any uh, Winter Wonderland parties or you've done them in the past, send us your pictures over. I'd love to see what you did. And we'll show them on the next episode of, uh, of BMTV. Um, anyway, that's all I've got for you this week. I hope you have an amazing week. I'll see you next week, bye. The aeroport system is for making big arches. Now traditionally these arches were made with helium filled balloons, but the aeroport system is basically, you've got, that was a base plate, you get two of those, and there's seven poles in here that you put together, and you put air filled balloons on there, therefore there's no helium cost. Hessian bunting, I'd probably describe it as sackcloth bunting, but I am reliably informed by Megan, who works in the office, who's getting married next year, that this is very on vogue, very in fashion in the, in the wedding arena.